three, two, one. Peace of the gang, peace of the gang. It is your boy BP, and today we are at Fashion Empire with the homie, the fashion impresario, fashionista, <laughs> big timer, my girl Ab. You. You talking to Ab? What's happening, Ab? What's, What's going, going on? on? Nothing, nothing. Chilling. Yeah. Ready to be up out of this quarantine. You Amen know, to that. excited, Amen to that. excited. I, I hear you on that. I can't wait to get out of this quarantine. Oh, People, I ain't really been quarantined, but that's another story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I'm excited to be here today with you and have this interview. I appreciate you giving me this interview. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I'm going to ask you a few questions. You know Let's go. Stay yeah. ready. So we're going to jump off with, who is Fashion Empire? Who is Fashion Empire? Who is? What is? Okay. Give us some insight. So Fashion Empire is a group of entrepreneurs. Um, we partnered together, and it, obviously we have a brick and mortar now. It used to just kind of be... Uh, an idea, you know, just stylists, we have designers, we have uh, just some boutique owners, just a bunch of us, and we decided to get together and actually have a location where we can do our modeling, uh, coaching, where we can do, actually sell our, our apparel, we have a couple different vendors in here, so it's it's a couple of us, they sold me out today, however, they are on the scene, you know I'm going to put them on the spot, because that's what I do best, they are here, but they're not here. But we are all represented all the time, and we represent one another, uh, and that's that's who Fashion Empire is. So is it a mixture of these? I know you do styling. Correct. Um, you have some designers in here as well. Yep. You want to give a little bit of detail on that? So, yeah. So I, myself, I'm a, a stylist. Um, and then another owner who's looking at me over here, <laughs> to your right, my left, his name is Tony, but his... Um, his brand is Anthony James, and he's also a stylist. Um, we also have Tia. Tia is um, another partner. She does more of the boutique uh, type thing. She orders, you know, she has clothes. She's uh, She does all of our, like when we have fashion shows and stuff like that, she's, she's there. She's present with her apparel. But we all kind of squat up and do that together. Um, Donald, most of you guys know him as uh, Benny Empire. He's a designer. He's also a stylist. He's also a model coach. He does choreography. So he he, he does it all. He he does it all. So he's on the squad. Um, we have Marky. Marky, you guys see a lot of times in the video with me, like when we're doing, the, um, like switching up the clothes and things like that. Mm -hmm. So Marky's another Donald. So she does the styling. Um, we're all trying to get into design, but she, um, you know, she helps with that. She helps in the store. She does modeling. She does model coaching. So, again, it's just like pretty much everybody does everything, and we, you know, but we specialize in our thing. So, that's why we thought it would be a dope mix to kind of come together, and now it's all history. So, what got you into styling? Well, I've been styling, like, all my life. That's that's pretty much what styling it is. On. Styling on them. That's, that's what I do. So, <laughs> way back. No, but, like, what I guess I come, I do come from a family of uh, people who just like nice things be mm -hmm. it cars be it clothes sneakers that's what we do um and i remember being in school a small flex as well, but <laughs> a little bit little <laughs> <laughs> but that that's what it was like you know in school people would always say now back when i was in school you know it was like the baggy jeans and the cross colors yeah. and yeah don't worry about how old Five i am X's. do your math Everything. yeah crisscross stuff right. like that but we um we were just me and my family we just always seemed to be into fashion and it was just who we are, who we were, but it was always recognized and noticed. So as I started getting older, you know, my friends would always hit me up, like, help me find something to wear, you're my stylist. They would call me right. that, and I just just laugh it off, but it was just normal. You know what I'm right. saying? Normal every day. And um, my sister got best dressed, my brother got best dressed, I got best dressed, and it was just like, okay, that's kind of dope. So it was because of you they got best dressed? Yes, yeah, because of me. Or is it family thing? Yeah, I'm the, young, the I'm the younger of the ones I'm talking about, but they got it from me. They, they get their swag from me. They won't admit it. They're going to tell you a different version, but right, yeah. Right, right. But that's how it pretty much started, and then as life went on, you know, working jobs like everybody else, but I always had a passion for fashion. So I kind of just, I felt like, I needed to start doing something that I love, where I feel like I'm getting something back. You know, I'm working for people, but I'm not getting nothing back. Absolutely. So, you know, it's a long story, but to make it short, quit the full-time job. You know, everybody got that story. Quit the full-time job, decided to pursue, you know, my, my, you know, this passion of mine, and the rest is all history. So now, you know, I had a couple fashion shows. Some people familiar with them. The Glow Up, Black Diamond Drip, really successful fashion shows, and 
they were received really well. And I was like, man, I could probably really do this. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did, and that's what I do. Absolutely. And the fashion shows inspired, by the way. Thank you very you know much, sir. It made me want to be a model. <laughs> yeah, everybody's you know, a model. Relax right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out to uh, Fashion Nova Holla at Mitchell Book. Um, <laughs> so, what styling advice would you give people as a stylist? To me, it's just always about just be in your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people tell you you can't wear something. Uh, that's where the whole fashion over foolishness comes from. You know, people like to tell you what looks good on you, or, mm-hmm. but no one knows how you feel when you put on your fit. Absolutely. So, you know, just keep it simple. Don't overthink it. And, you know, own it. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Own it. And if you don't if some people just don't have a fashion sense, come to Fashion Empire. We can give you a little, you know what I mean? Plug. But we know we can give you a little plug advice, some tips at Fashion Empire, <laughs> 39 North Front Street, still and let's Keep go. We are open. Let's go. So that's my advice though. Just be comfortable in, in who you are. Again, some people just don't have that, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know about cars. So when I need help, I'll go get the car fixed. So if you don't know, you know, where to go, just come here and we'll try to give you some tips and advice so you can do your thing on your own. That's weird. So what can a client expect from experience? You know, I know you do personal shopping as well. You know, mm-hmm. we talk about that. We do. What can, what can a client expect from a personal shopping experience? Well, so if you do a personal shopping experience, um, what we do, obviously you have to just kind of let us know a couple weeks or a week or so in advance, depending on what we have going mm-hmm. on. Um, and we close the store down. Uh, it can be like we're kind of working working it out as far as how many people, especially mm-hmm. if we're just coming back into the, you know, COVID, the world and the yeah, COVID and all right. that. Yeah, we can't have a whole bunch of people in here because then I'm leaving. You can have the store. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> but no, like you and your girlfriends or your guy friends. We have some male apparel. We're trying to boost it up. Mm-hmm. You know, but um, you come in. It's really personal because there's no one in here but you guys. Um, we will have refreshments, real high end because we got. Somebody real bougie on the events, Tone and uh, Tone and Tone, Marky. Tone for the bougie. Mar- Let's go. Marky does, and I didn't mention that, Marky does, like, the event planning. Um, so, like, you know, the setup will be gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? They have a really nice setup in here, nice music, wine, and you come in, and you and your friends can just go at it. We also offer, like, uh, discounts depending on how many people come in. Um, again, we do have different vendors, so this is why we would need to know in advance so we can kind of right. plug it to them. Because they may offer something special for that group. Right. Um, so, yeah, we, we just want to offer that because I think it's different. I've not really seen that. Kind of put a little twist to it. And, and a lot of people don't like to be around people. I'm one of those people. Right. So, it could just be something exclusive. If it's your birthday or, you know, if it's like just maybe you want to get your mom out of the house and you want to just show them something special. Well, you know, you tell us what you're doing and we'll really make the moment special. So... I think that's dope, especially in an area like this. Being, you mm-hmm. know, we we live in a small town. We do. You know, we want to be big city, big city yeah, hype, yeah, but yeah. you know, we still a small town. So if we, we are offer a service like that. Yeah. That's super dope, man. Right, and like with that said, it's kind of like yeah, we want to give you that big city feel. Mm-hmm. You know, because we're larger than this city. Absolutely. So we want Absolutely. you know that's that's the goal. We don't want you to come and be like. Oh, that's a nice place in Harrisburg. Nah, like, just know it's that nice we're place, just, period. period. That's Absolutely. kind of falls on like she's cute to be a big girl. Come on now, she's just cute. Come on now. She's just cute. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He's cute to be dark. No, he's just dark and sexy. Right, right. That's just yeah. what it is. So, yeah, that's that, That's the aim. Just want you to come in here and make it. We want it to be, like, so memorable that you want to come back and tell others about it. Right, right. That's the goal. That's dope. Yeah. So what challenges do you face as a stylist, like? Is there any challenges? Do you face challenges? How's that work? Well, yeah, I would say, honestly, the biggest one would be, first off, everybody's a stylist. Everybody. Everybody's a rapper, so I understand. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. And that, and that is what I know I run into a lot. It's kind of like, what do I need a stylist for? You know what I mean? I can do this. And then that, if that's you, then cool. Mm-hmm. But it's like, sometimes it's just about getting out of your norm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just trying to convince people that what you can provide is different Mm -hmm. from what they may put on themselves or what someone else may have showed them. Like me, I have always hated a rack dresser, which means you go into, like back in the day, Styles West. Styles West. Shout out to Styles West. I I used to hate like going out and like I'll be like, he just dressed right off the rack. From that's, head to that's top. How we would dress people too. Yeah, I know. People would just buy it. You put it together and they want it. it. Which was dope for sales, obviously, because yeah, you sold it. Right. But, but see, someone styled that rag. I get it. 
But it's like, switch it up. So, like, if I go in there and I see a rag like the rag, I don't want to go out and be like, oh, I saw that when I was at the mall earlier. That's whack to me. Like, no, like, switch it up. Don't be afraid to switch it up. So, in my mind, not judging, but, like, if somebody came in and I know that's what I saw, I'd be like, see, if he would have did this and did that and that and that, that looked dope. You know, so that's just... You cannot judge. I'm judging. Y'all got the same outfit. <laughs> yeah, ex- that's what I'm saying. You don't want to have no twins you when you're out, then... That looks crazy. Stop buying it off the yeah, rag. 27... <laughs> twinning. You better like, stop it. Yeah. No, you're twinning is that. not winning. You're too big for that. Let it go. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Oh, That's okay. We're back. We're no, back. No, no. So, what's your ultimate goal? What, I mean, what, what, did you guys discuss ultimate goal? Like, what, do you, what is your plans for the future with the fashion empire? Well, obviously, you know, we do talk about those things because outside of like a business relationship, we are really friends and we, right. you know, talk about the possibilities. Um, the goal, again, this is just a stepping stone, um, and it's a really small location, but it's a great start. You know, I love, I love how small and intimate this setting is, but the goal is to give more, to do more. You know, the goal in life is to have, like, multiple streams of income. Mm-hmm. Um, we want the little ones, our own, and, you know, nieces and nephews and stuff, just to see, to be able to look up to us and say, I don't have to work for anyone. You know, so, of course, in business, we want to be successful, but the ultimate goal for me is just for the people coming up under us to just have, to set higher goals, and, you know, I don't raise my children to want to work for nobody. You know, I'll support them if that's what they decide to do, but that's just not the goal, so we want to be successful in business, and hopefully it takes me even, you know, all of us higher than what we can even imagine, you know, we stay prayed up. And each each day, like it's this trial and error. We we order stuff, we don't like it. We wanna learn to like I said, be designers and just grow in this industry. That's mm-hmm. that's the biggest thing, just grow until it's time to go. Grow until it's time to go. That's cold. That's uh-huh. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drop, drop one of Clues bombs for that so that was fire right there. Grow that's until it. it's time to go. I love it. You that's know what it. I mean? And that's 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 an excellent word right there, because Yeah. We got to grow until it's time to go. You that's know it. I, mean? I was just thinking last night, people lived at nine. You know, that's that's 30 years, three times. I know I'm, I know I'm not the greatest at that. But you <laughs> need to do three 30-year stints. Yeah, what you going to do? And you could, you know what I mean? So I figured how much I did in these 30 years. Absolutely. I can keep growing until I go. So I like that. I'm going to steal that from you. Don't worry yep. about that. Next video nah, you see, it's going to have it. Tone, write that down. We got the coin that. <laughs> coin that. <laughs> coin that. And I'll buy the shirt. All right, I'll okay. wear it on the next video. On it. You know what I mean? I'm with that. I definitely <laughs> think that. <laughs> yeah, it's recorded, so we have documentation. There you go. This is the proof. <laughs> so, who would you? Who would be your favorite designer, and, and why is that your favorite designer? So, my favorite designer is Jay Bolin. He is first off. He's like he's a stylist. He and you know he he designs and he he does all his work. I I don't know all of what he does as far as like if everything that's on his site is made by him. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But as far as like styling, he is my favorite. He's my favorite, and you got if if you don't follow him, you gotta follow him. It's J dot B O L I N on Instagram, and I'm plugging him. He don't even Plug. know me, but he will know me. Jay He'll Bowen, know us. Show some love. Absolutely. He um he's just he keeps it so fresh. Like he's just so dope to me. He thinks like out of, outside the box. Mm-hmm. He's there's no rules. You know the way he puts things together. Me and Tone talk about him all the time. Him and his staff is amazing, and I. I'm telling you that now that is a goal. We're going to get there like to his location and he he's 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 dope. So he's my he's my favorite. You got really big designers and stuff but not nah, like I he's reachable. He's like relatable. You know what I mean? Like I look at him and I can see us. So That's dope. That's my favorite. He's my favorite. That's awesome. Mhm. Dang. I ain't never heard. I ain't never heard about you, Jay Bowling, but I'm about to go follow you on the <laughs> I you think you'll saying? see right away like why. You'll see You'll see. You'll be like, ah, I see why she likes him. So, yeah, he's he's dope. Style mean. Love him. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I'm running out of questions. Okay. But I think this has been a great interview on some honesty. And what I think you got get... coming out? Oh, yeah, yeah. From the corner who was supposed to be in the video. <laughs> Correct. You, you know that? what I'm saying? You see that? Oh, She's my God. Video, if I could turn this camera, they, get, they ain't play too I ain't going to turn the camera on y'all. But <laughs> what's going on? What you got next? Yeah. So, coming up really, really soon. Now I was kind of held back because of the, uh, you know, the quarantine. But we're gonna. Uh, I have a neon collection. It's already available, but we didn't get to really do our our photo shoots and stuff like that. So that's actually happening like in the very near future, like this weekend near. Um, and I'll have 
the neon line out. Um, so stay tuned for that. Like, if you know me, you know I love bright colors. So just expect that. It's a bunch of bright colors and stuff coming from Fashion or Foolishness. Um, just trying to find some some new ideas. Marky, who you heard over here, she comes up with, like, brilliant ideas. That's why we you'll see us doing our videos and stuff like that. She um, keeps real fresh ideas going, like, as far as how to push and promote our store. We want to get people coming in. You know, some people are a little nervous, and I get it. But, you know, the, the goal is to just get business popping. Um, fashion shows to come. Obviously, we're taking that really slow because of crowds and stuff like that. But, again, for me personally, it's just the Neon Collection. That's the, that's the latest and greatest. In the fall, I plan on having, like, a fall line. Um, some things I can't reveal, but I am working on them. So, that's pretty much what's to come. That's because y'all need to follow us. You can't tell y'all right now because y'all need to go follow her and pay attention to what she's doing. There it is. Fashion well. over foolishness on IG and Facebook. Then you got to follow us uh, Fashion Empire MMG Model mm -hmm. Management Group on Instagram. The Anthony James um, gosh, I guess we're going to have to probably put the yeah, list up because yeah, it's a whole cool. bunch of it'll us. It'll be links to everything. Yeah, Don't worry because about it's a whole bunch of us. So Don't worry about we'll, we'll, we'll send it because Marky got like two and then Donald. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll put, we'll put the links. We'll put the links up. But so please, you guys in, follow us. Excuse me. I'm sorry. No, you're good. But you're a model and management group. See, I had y'all just paid the stylist and I apologize for that. Well, you're I should, I should have yeah, elaborated on elaborate that. Elaborate on the uh, model and management group. So yeah. So we do, uh, Benny, Donald. Mm -hmm. He uh he is actually like the lead. So mm -hmm. he has a team, Benny's Angels. Um, and it Marky is one of the lead um coaches. And what they do is, you know, right now they're getting ready to do a boot camp in July. Um, and when they, they teach uh Hill class, model etiquette, um, everything models need to know to become a successful model, they teach it. So it's definitely Listen, when I tell you they are so bomb, I mean, runway, uh, print, they do um, personality, they do dance, you know, it's, it's, it's so much talent in this group of people, which is why I love us, you know what I mean? I really do. We have so much to offer, and um, that's why I was just happy that we came together, all arranged by God. You know, God gets all the credit for that, but um, yeah, so the model management group is exactly that. We um, The goal is to get them work, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? keep them keep them busy and moving but obviously they have to they have to be reliable you know right. responsible accountable all those things in right. order to keep it going so the website will be up and running we again kind of slacking on that a little bit but we will have that up so that you can uh, sign up for classes and stuff that we offer so that's okay. that's definitely in the works so that'll so. be the best way to, for models to contact you guys mm -hmm. well okay. currently until that's up just hit us on on um Instagram. Okay. A lot of times, uh, Tony, which is the Anthony James, he's the one that kind of right now handles all the, the questions and anything about things to come with the modeling. He mm -hmm. kind of gets that to Donald and Marky, and they contact the people or he'll respond back to them. So, the underscore Anthony underscore James, I believe. It's once you put the. Yeah, it'll, it'll pop Every, up. Everything will be linked. Trust it me. will. Like, for real, this is too much for my mind to remember, okay? I'm going to put everything in the description for y'all. <laughs> so y'all can just click the link. The thing is, it. though, if they would have came up here, everything would have just been just silent and you would have knew right away. But that's okay. <laughs> you know, we're so going to get it together. We'll get them on the next one. We Don't worry about exactly. it. We'll get them on the next one. Exactly. So, but yes, hit us up. Either way, it doesn't matter who you contact. It's all one team. You right, know what I mean? Right. So... We can get in contact with the other person, and we can get your questions answered. And that's one thing I want to say about about your team. You have an amazing, like you guys as a unit are phenomenal. Like thank like, you. I like the '96 Bulls. No lie. <laughs> for real, for real. Y'all work. Y'all work well together. Y'all complement thank you. each other. You know what I mean? The times I've been here, mm -hmm. y'all was always having fun. Y'all got. I mean, that's look, important. Look where we at. Y'all get work done. You right. know what I mean? Like it's dope. Y'all got a real dope team. Thank you. Elaborate. Uh, on how how important it is to have a team, because mm. you know a lot of us think we can do it by ourselves, and we you mm. know, and you end up running into a brick wall. Listen, <laughs> listen, you that's a question. That's a, that's a heavy question, and it's a really good question. First of all, it is so important to have a team, but your team has to understand the importance of their role, Ooh, um, and you know it. just just you live and you learn. Period. You know. Um, Sometimes I think that people 
like the idea of being on a team or having a team, but mm-hmm. a lot of people don't realize it's different personalities coming together. And that's not always fun. But business is not always fun, right. you know, but if everyone has the same goal and everyone's focusing the same, success will come. Right. But um, when your team is on the same level and everybody's reaching for the same thing, you know, you can have your own thing going on. You know, that's the thing, like I said, how many people did I mention? You know, we all have right. our own thing going on, but it's still one goal as a team. Right. Um, and when we're working together, that's what you see. That's the result. You know, mm-hmm. you see... What you see, right. success, things look good. You know, it's going to be some fighting. You're fighting right. your family. Exactly. You, you fight with your family, you know. You but it's just, too. absolutely. You know, and as long as you realize it's not a competition, mm-hmm. you know, with one another, like you are your own competition. So these are conversations, and we have meetings that last for hours, hours, you know, all the time just trying to get things straight because it's important to communicate, you mm-hmm. know. So... The, the goal, again, is just to understand what one another's goals are individually mm-hmm. and as a team. And once it's all, you know, laid out and you agree this is what we want, you can have an amazing team. And mm-hmm. that's our goal. I'm not going to say that it's been easy Absolutely. because I want people to know. Like, you know, I for real, on some real, like if me and you talk and it's, okay. it's like um, I record a lot of videos in my phone, like mm-hmm. daily, like daily. And I just don't post them. Because that's my way of like just venting and getting things out because people think that it's just, just all you see is surface. Right. You know, but when you set goals, you have to understand it takes hard work. It takes sacrifice. You know, mm-hmm. like for those who know me, I have two small children and I say that all the time. I say it loud, I wear it proud. Right. But me being here means I'm not with them. Yeah. So when I come, I don't come to play. You know what I'm saying? So... I have to say that a lot in our meetings and stuff because I'm not coming here to play games. Right. You know, we can have fun. We can live. I'm silly. I've always been, you know, but like work is work. Right. So you got to treat it like work. You know, like this is, you got to understand you're getting more from this than working, going to go work for somebody, Absolutely. you know? So if you're more comfortable clocking in and, and working for somebody and under that structure, then you don't, you're not for this team, you know? So Ooh, those, those are things that, you know, I say in my videos because I'll be like, rah, rah. Because that's the thing. I can be real cool and quiet and humble. Mm-hmm. But when I'm passionate about something and I feel like your passion don't match mine, listen. You got to go. There it is. Go. Grow or go. Period. That's another one. Grow. Add to the list. Grow. <laughs> <laughs> grow or go. Because, again, it's no one's fault. Because sometimes when you come together as a team, you don't realize what you want. You think you know what you want. Mm-hmm. And then once you get in that environment and atmosphere, it's like, well, maybe, you know, I feel like I'm in a box with them. And that's cool, but you have to be mature enough to say, listen, I thought this was for me. It's mm-hmm. not. I'm going to gracefully bow out. Because right. I'm going to tell you it's time for you to gracefully bow out if you don't do it. And it ain't, you ain't meeting up to my my expectations or what the team's expectations are. You right. got to go. So, so you better figure it out. Absolutely. Told, yep. I used to be really... Um, I I still do. I think things through before I talk about them. I, I try to weigh the my options and everything. You know what's going to happen, but because of what you said, you know, just you put it in perspective. Like people live to ninety, you know, so that's what's up. But some people don't. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Like this season that we're coming out of, we lost a lot of people. A lot. And one thing for sure, when I'm laying there, I want my kids to say, "Look, my mom gave her all." You see what I'm saying? She mm-hmm. went in. She put in that work. She just always told us, you can get it, but you, nobody's going to give it to you. That's mm-hmm. my thing. Right. So if I feel like people are just opportunists and trying to pull from what I'm putting in, it's a wrap. And it used to be hard for me, like, oh, my gosh, I don't want no enemy. But listen, if that's what's going to take, it was your enemy anyway. you got to go deal with yeah, that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm so. good. Like, I'm going to eat regardless. I'm not going to ever stop. So if someone's goal is to go halfway, you ain't. this is not the team for you. Right. So that's just it. Know that <laughs> if your goal is to just be mediocre... Don't even come in the doors of fashion department. We don't have nothing for you. That's it. Ooh, I like that type of talk. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's right real there. rap. That's just real rap. That's, That's just real. Listen, all them videos I got on my phone, I needed that moment because I need people to hear what no, my car hears because my car don't care. But I need people to know <laughs> what it's hitting for when you come in the doors of fashion empire. That's I it. respect that. That's 100% honest yep. and God true. Yes, it and is. And that's what you should bring to everything. If you're going to show up to anything, make sure you bring 100% passion. Because if not, match. what's the point? 
you you wasting your time. And mine. Right, right. And I don't have it the way like you said you ain't got time to play. None. You it's, ain't got time to no, play. No, it's it's but you know, just kinda go back to what you said. We have a really dope team. We got a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. But to keep it raw, it's a lot of talent everywhere. So it don't stop where your talent starts. You know what I'm saying? We can go somewhere else and get it. It's like, you know, I'm not a b I'm not the boss in here, you know, we're partners and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But I'm not going to let someone else mess up my dream because they want to half-ass it. That just can't do it. If you, if you, if you half-ass and you can't come in here because we go the whole way all the time. Everything we do, we go in. So if you just like, ah, oh, I'm tired today, listen, I'm talking to you on two and a half hours of sleep. That's what I do. I don't sleep. And I ain't saying, oh, sleep when you die. No, your body needs to, you know, in order to heal, you got to rest. I try to get sleep, but this is where it's at. This is where I need to be right now. So... You got to go hard or go home and go to sleep. Stay sleep. Just don't come here. <laughs> don't come here refreshed because if you all refreshed, you get, you ain't working hard enough. You see what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I need you to come in here like I ain't getting no sleep. I want you to see. I want to see your bags like you see mine because I carry mine with right, me all the time. Right. So I need to see that you sacrificing something. If, you, if you're not giving up something, then I, I can't even relate. So... I'm going to get off my soapbox. I'm done. But that, that's big that's bag what it's talk. That's, that's what we talk about. That's big bag talk. <laughs> Let the people know what they need to know. Because I feel yeah. like as a as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, mm. people need to hear this. Because I think a lot of us are trying to get into that realm. Absolutely. And, and they don't. They think, you know, I'm going to just BS my way. Exactly. And and I, I do it sometimes, but I ain't going to do it. Exactly. And they need to hear that, Absolutely. That to God, you know, it's times, BP, we come in here, you know... I may be rocking on two hours of sleep, maybe. Marky's just getting off work. Tone gets off work, puts in that work, and then he has to go right to his other job. You see what I'm saying? But that's that sacrifice. That that's I feel that hunger. I know it, and that's what I'm saying. I'll do anything for them because I know they'll do anything for me. We come in here, we do these videos, we swapping out clothes. I became like uh, become the daggone queen of TikTok. I know how to do stuff and you know edits and stuff like that. But like, and it looks good because it's perce it's about perception. Right, but it takes a lot of work to jump in, in and out of four and five outfits. It's hot. Yeah, ain't nothing small about me. I don't want to be all so, yo. We gotta take a break at the arrow. It's a lot of work. I'm telling you. But the goal is, you know, just to get people to feel our vibe and see, you know, like they really putting it in and getting it in. Right. When we get our videos up, we get so much love. So it we just keep it. Across. Yeah, and, and I, you told me yeah. that before, and I appreciate that. And that's that's the goal, you know. So it's fun, but it's not all just laughs and giggles. It's hard work behind it. So just just know that when you see us, there's some sacrifice. Period. Okay. Hey y'all, hi. I'm at Fashion Boutique right down here on Frank Street in Stilton. I just bought this dress and I got this dope little piece right here. Honey, I'm about to be popping this summer. And um, a lot of y'all probably know me in Harrisburg. That one blue and yellow dress, I got that from here too. But I just got this. But yeah, honey, they got all your little cute clothes down here. They got the bald head hoe stuff. They got the sophisticated stuff. They got the chill calm, like I don't want to get dressed, but I want to be cute stuff. Come on down here, and it's a black owned business. See y'all. We good money. Oh, we just had a quite. We had a little technical difficulty, but we back. We back you like we I'm never saying? left. You like we never left because we didn't really. We just switched batteries that and was jumped it. right back into the building. Boom, you know boom. what I'm saying? But for this, uh, for this final question, mm -hmm. I want to ask you what information, what type of Knowledge can you give to the kids, to the youth, anybody trying to become a stylist, anybody trying to become, uh, become an entrepreneur, or just trying to do something? What information could you give? To well, the so what I would say, uh, as far as advice goes, I would say surround yourself around the people who you want to be like. So I was told that, you know, when I was young, if you want to be a lawyer, you hang around lawyers. If you want to be a doctor, you hang around doctors. You know, you're not going to your goal can't be to be a doctor and you hang around drug dealers because work. it's not going to work. You know, it just doesn't add up. So surround yourself around the people who you are striving to be like or even similar to. Go find out if that's what you want to do. Um, you know, get a mentor. Get a mentor. Look for uh, internships. Look for, you know, knock on business. Like, listen, these small businesses, like, 
us. You know, we're right here. The door is open. Come and talk to us. I encourage you to do that. You just don't know. Sometimes people don't even realize they can use your help. You know, if you want to be a barber, go into the barbershop and ask the suite. You know, like, it, it starts... Like, just by going in and introducing yourself. You know, some people are really timid and shy. And if the opportunity is not out there on social media, you think that it's not there. But again, go let them know why they need you. That's, that's you know, like, convince them, man, like, he, I like his ambition. I like her ambition, you know. So, I mean, like, with that said, I, that's what I would like to do. Like, I think what we would like to offer, um, if there's anyone out there, I guess I should say... Age-wise, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, too young, you may not get anything out of it, but just just hit us up. Like, I'm thinking if you're 13 and up, 16 and up, hit us up um, with your parent. We're going to make sure we say that. Um, come see us, 39 North Front Street, or DM us, and we'll arrange a time to meet. And maybe over the summer, you can help us out, you know, a little internship, and you can come see if, if this is what you want to do, if fashion is your passion, we got some work for you. It's things that we that we can have you do, and and you never know how far that relationship will go. Maybe this will help you to learn what you want to do for the rest of your life or not want to do, you know, but we want to open up the door and say, come to Fashion Empire, and we got a place for you. I think we could probably afford, what do you think, two people? Two kids? All right, so two people come through. We'll discuss some different things that we can do. Um, it's different things that we're even just planning. I don't know. We'll find out what your skills are and what it is that you want to do. And we can make this. We don't have a real long summer left. But whatever we have left of the summer, we'll um, put you to work in a good way. <laughs> in a good way. Let's work. Get off these streets. Come in here. We'll find something for you to do. Yeah, so parents, if you see this and your child is interested in fashion, please make sure you hit them up. Because it's necessary. We gotta get these kids off the streets. Absolutely. Get them out of this nonsense and get them into something that's gonna be helpful and lucrative in their lives. Right. If it's design, if it's styling, if it's I mean just if you just like clothes, come in. Come in. You just you just never know. You know what I mean? You never know what you'll leave with. I always feel like listen, I don't even care if it's a bad situation. If you leave with one good thing, then you won. So come in. Come see us. That's an optimistic optimistic way of looking at things. Absolutely. Even if you just walk out with one Thing. One good thing. Listen, even if it's to never go back. That's <laughs> that was that relationship Sometimes was that's a crazy. Good thing to learn. Yeah, you, you know, know it's, just, it's like a relationship. You know, you think you want it, you get in it. Nope, don't want it. Done. But now you know that's not what I want in a relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You won't know until you try it. So come through. So you, we, I was saying, even if it's not fashion, we may know somebody that's doing something that you're interested in. Yeah, just like, come you know, talk to us. MUAs, if your things. kid is on the couch. And eating dad going hot pockets, drinking up all your juice, and you want them to just get out of the house and go find something to do, send them here. We got them. And we got you. Listen, I wish I could do that. My daughter wants to do something every second of the day, so I know how that is. But they have to be at least, I think the youngest is 13. The youngest is 13 and, and up. So... They'll come up in here 35 years old talking about you. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do. And you on your couch. Because now I, I, we got to see you on the you flip know, side. You know they coming. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I'm... Since I've been wanting to do fashion forever. <laughs> I'm laid off right now. Nope, not nah, we, we could probably use you later. Because my thing is this. Like, I'm all about, like I said, squadding up. Let's help right. each other out. But this is for the children. Yes. Kids. You can't kids. be over 18. No, we don't want Somebody you 19 and with a dream. No, we <laughs> 13 to 18. 19 with a dream, go to college. <laughs> yeah. 13 to 18. Come, come to here. Fashion, come to the Fashion Empire. Yes. Excuse me. But yeah. With that said, I'd like to thank you again, Ev. Absolutely. I'd like to thank your, 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 mm -hmm. your co-owners. Mm -hmm. okay. There we go. We got one. That's there he is. Talking. At least we got one. Come on, Marcy. You want, you want, She's not going to. All right. Well, Y'all know who she is. She's in all right. the videos. Right. I definitely like to thank all you guys for your participation, for letting me get this interview. Absolutely. It was a dope interview. Like I said, I love it when people talk. They, I ain't going to cuss. Because Lord knows I want to cuss. But I ain't going to cuss. I love when people talk. They talk their good word. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I appreciate you talking that good word, giving us some insight, giving us some, some game on Fashion Empire, just on life. 
and how things will be working in the near future. If you want to give me your contact information one more time, run that up. Okay, so, so first, reach. let me thank BP. For y'all, you know, y'all don't realize, I know BP. I've known him for a good while now. He's out here doing this thing. I'm so happy that he's finally out here doing this thing. He's another appreciate one it, appreciate that it. has, like, talent out the wazoo. He, he can rap. I mean, like, one of the my favorite rappers. I don't care yeah, about... That's dope. Appreciate yeah, that's, you know, I feel that's like dope. that. I, I, I feel like that. that. I'm not worried about no record, like, labels. Nah. He is one of the best rappers, period. Damn. Now bro. he's doing his photography. Here, <laughs> <laughs> he's doing his photography thing, and he's killing them. Culture Captivation. Culture captivation. Check yeah. him out. So, definitely want to plug him, because he's definitely killed him. He's doing Thank his you. media thing. I'm so excited. I don't know what he is offering, but y'all need to hit him up. You know, he's doing, like, if you got a small business or something and you want him to come in and, you know, you want to shine a little bit, hit him up. You see what I'm saying? Like, let's ride with each other, man. Let's ride. So, with that said, again, hit us up. My tag is fashion over foolishness, fashion underscore over underscore foolishness. But just if you just type it in, it'll pop up. Maybe in the description. Um, exactly. In the description, it'll be in there. Uh, fashion Empire MMG. And again, as as I'm talking, I know he's gonna have it to where you'll see all the links just floating up. Yep, yep. Okay. That way you can get in touch with us, and uh, you know we'll definitely get back to you. I appreciate your time, I sir. Appreciate your time. Thank you Absolutely. very much. Absolutely. Yeah. Peace to the gang. We gonna holla at y'all on the next one. Yep. Yep. You know yep. what it is. Holla. Peace. Yep.